Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Early season, mid-season, late season, it really doesn't matter. The SEC doesn't wait to turn up the intensity. An early season matchup in the Southeastern Conference. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. for today's football contest. Let's head down to the coin toss now. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. At about the 31. That brings up second and nine. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Brought down at the 45 yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Man left, man left. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. Decent run here, right side. Dixon wants to pin these guys deep, and you got to think he'll be looking coffin corner on this one. He's out to the 30. He got hit hard. The Raging Cajuns have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. It's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach, but where your guy can still come down with it in bounds. It takes a lot more precision than it looks. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Here we go! 
Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Nelson was the intended target on the play. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Miller awaiting the return. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. From their own 39-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's taken down at the 40. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Shoved out of bounds at the 33. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Check 82, watch 82, ball coming 82. Hey, check my three side. Check, check. This go, Raver. This go. And they make the stop around the 13-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. the 13 yard line first down nice run there starks gains about five yards on the run that brings him second and five Keep it on the ground again. A one-yard gain by the halfback. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. Touchdown, Arkansas! Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he adds the extra point. So an eight-play, 62-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So the score now, 7-0. Arkansas ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. Oh, what a hit. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nearly intercepted. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. He's on the run. 
And he's tackled at the 41. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. That'll make it 35. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He scrambled. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. An incredible series for the defense, and they get him out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Arkansas. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Cleveland awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 36. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Arkansas is up seven. Nearly intercepted. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. ends up making the play. The offensive line did all that they could to give the quarterback enough time to throw, but, you know, kind of the game within the game right now is, is the battle up front between the offensive and defensive line. Fumble! And the ball bounces out of bounds. away here on second down. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set. And he comes in with his dime packing. Quick strike and he drops it. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. Arkansas is up by a touchdown. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Here's the eighth play of the series. And Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's away. Short punt. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. On the ground, right side. And they get nice yardage on that run. Nelson picks up about seven yards on the run. Here's a run. Tackle around the 25-yard line. And 
he's immediately tackled. Gaining six yards. That makes it first and ten. Double tight. Double tight. Four down, four down. Five to the right. Five to the right. On the ground with the tailback. He's taken down around the 31 yard line. That makes it second and ten. Makes it out to about the 39. Cross is right. He's taken down behind the line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. The Razorbacks taking their first time out of the half. Miller is back deep to return. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pass complete and taken down immediately. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Arkansas up seven points. Go! 28! 28! Motion, motion! Check, check! Disco Raver! Disco Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He's tackled around the 45 yard line. From their own 45 yard line, it's first down. thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Slings it. And he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Zips it to the tight end. Brought down around the 34-yard line. Arkansas is up a score. Fires incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He makes the catch and has a first down. They bring the 
quarterback down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He throws it. Almost intercepted. Johnson's intended to see on the play. That'll bring up third and long. This is the 12th play of this drive. Throws it deep. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 12th play, 67-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So score, 14-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. From the seventh, he makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Arkansas is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 26. He makes his way out to about the 35. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it first and ten. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. That's a game five on the play. That makes it second and six. Four down, four down. High five. High five. Pulls in the pass and steps out. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can't ask for much more than that. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Now 
now he's scrambling. He's at the 30. That's a great tackle at the 20-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. From the 20-yard line, first down. He might have a chance. And he's leveled at the one-yard line. That makes it first and goal. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. First and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. They'll knock him down for a loss. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Up the middle for a nice game. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. Perfect call under these circumstances. Confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. The score now, 14-7. Cleveland's ready to kick. Taken from the three-yard line at the 30. And he's tackled at the 39. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. To be able to come out and score in your first drive tells you a lot about what they did during the half. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. The Ragin' Cajuns quarterback down there on the sideline, and, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's that much pain right now. They need him back on the field before this one's over. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 42. Arkansas is up seven. Gets it out quickly, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. yard line. It's second down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. Five wide. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. It's second and ten. Ball on the 29. Quick throw, and he's got his 
man again. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Arkansas is up by a touchdown. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. And smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. Tackled around the four-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Razorbacks with a touchdown lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Bring him down right around the two-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it third and goal. It's third and goal from the one, and they're trying to make this a two-possession ball game. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Arkansas! So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 61 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Anderson fields it at the two. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The Razorbacks' defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down around the 50-yard line. Good awareness on that scramble there. They dropped everybody back in coverage and left enough running room for the big guy to get a first down. Scrambling around. Tackle made right around the 50. Again, tackle at about the 39-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Right on left, right on left. Go down, go down. Five to right. Five to right. Here we go. Right. He scrambles. Sims gets six yards after taking it himself. They're about four yards away here on second down. 
Less than three minutes in the game. Zips it to the back, and he's immediately tackled. Smith makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's scrambling. He's at the 20. He's tackled at the 17. That's good for the game. First down. Right, 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 right. Go down, go down. Ready? He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes around the 16 yard line. Makes his way out to about the six. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. This is the 11th play of this drive. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. converts the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Action going on right now in the top five. The Buckeyes hammer that running game and score a touchdown. And for Frederick, he's having a huge day. Three touchdowns on the ground. We are locked up at 28. Reese, a touchdown difference in this one, 21-14. Louisiana Lafayette is ready to kick it away. Miller goes it at the 9. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 31. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. A score here might effectively end this one. Just over two minutes in the game. the 38-yard line. Starks picks up seven yards with that catch. The Raging Cajuns taking their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Three yards there on the delayed handoff. The Raging Cajuns are going to call their second time out. decent run up the gut. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. First and 10, ball on their own 46. And he tackles them hard at the 47. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings up second and nine. It to the 48 yard line. Gain of one on the too play. easy, too easy. That makes it 37. From their own 48 yard line. Third down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Arkansas is up a score. <laughs> 
so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 21-14, Razorback. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.